Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound part 12, 13, I don't even know. We're heading into the cave. I've just gotten done doing my grinding. I went a little overboard, but what can I say? Level 19. Is inevitably I gained some experience too, so. And Sky's at level 14. But even at level 14 you can see her hit points are pretty low, so you gotta be careful. And these are the mole playing roughs, which most of the time what they'll do is, well, they'll die, yeah, that's, that's one thing they do do. They'll just end up confusing themselves, it'll say something like the mole playing rough felt a little strange, and he'll start either hitting himself or... Well, usually what happens is you hit him and it knocks him back out of their confusion, but it makes it a little bit easier. You know, just just the randomness of everything. So, we have a new enemy over here. Wait a second. Level 20. Oh, yeah. I won't always record every time I gain a level, but... When I get a big one like this, it might be worth it, like, you know, multiples of ten and stuff like that. Anyway, these little batty guys are the new enemy I'm talking about. What I like to do with these guys is just use my music attack on them. But there's always a chance it'll miss. Yeah, the bats will do that to you. They'll get up close to you, and it'll freeze you. And you, basically, what that means is you'll lose your turn for one round. So it's not really too bad. I mean, you'll just gain your ability right back. And there wasn't much she could have done anyway there. Um, you can also use um, a fire attack on a row of enemies, either the back row or the front row, and it goes across the screen. So I could have used it on the mole or the bat. So you might as well use it on the one where it's going to hit the most targets, so... Use it on the bat. Piece of cake. That's not too bad. Freeze, on the other hand, that's a single target spell, as I mentioned earlier. <clears throat> but it also has the power to freeze an enemy for a turn, so they lose their turn. Great charm. I'm going to give that to Sky and equip it on her. It doesn't do much in the way of defense, but it does increase your speed by five, as I found out. So, that's good. Give that to her and head on into the cave a little further. Well, that was kind of poopy. Oh well, we survived. Barely. <laughs> there we go. Just keep her as close to full HP as you can, because you're going to need to. You don't want her dying in here, because even at level 14, there's still a chance she will. You just want to make sure and take care of her, that's all. Okay. You might have seen back there, there's a little bear running around, or should I say a big bear. We'll be fighting those soon enough. Okay. Good, avoid that anytime we can. Anytime you can avoid a battle, that's a good thing. Just a tad bit over-leveled here, maybe. But in this place, you really can't be too over-leveled. Okay, here we go, the mighty bear. These guys, what I like to do is use the freeze beta. And if you don't have freeze beta, just use freeze alpha. But that's how the spells are ranked, basically. They're alpha, beta, and something, and then omega. I don't remember what the third one is. <laughs> but here we go. Ooh, waiting for those guys to get out of the way. They won't do it. Okay. Uh, wanted to get that butterfly. I guess we're going to have to fight this bear. Oh, well. I basically went all the way through this cave when I did my grinding, so... So that's how I got so high. But going through it again, as you see, is not gaining nearly as many levels because, well... Well, because anybody who's anybody knows that it takes more experience to gain levels the higher you get, and I'm not going to explain that right now because there's just no freaking point. What do we got? PSI Caramel. That will restore magic. Those are pretty hard to come by, so I like to save them for extreme emergencies. Oh. Oh no! Oh my god, I'm sorry! Oh, how can I let that happen? What a trooper, she got a hit in before she went down. <laughs> Aw, oh, man. 
him out of the teddy bear disguise and stuff. Yeah, that's what'll happen if you have a dead character. So that's what it looks like when somebody's dead right there. Oh, man. I don't have anything here either. If I would've picked up that cup of life noodles that, that I was talking about back at the Peaceful Rest Valley, I could've used it right now to bring her back. But right now, the only way I'm gonna be able to bring her back is to go to a hospital. So that means I gotta go all the way through this cave and get back to Happy Happy Village again. That kind of sucks. I'm going to gain way too much experience doing that, but... Oh well, I'll do that. I'll meet you back at the hospital. And this is the hospital, since I figure I might as well show this to you. Because... You, know, you haven't really seen this yet, so... Basically, you talk to the... Well, you talk to one of these people. Oh, uh, no, she's not sick. She's kind of, like, dead. <laughs> I want to see Sky. She was just brought in and is still unconscious. Please pay 110 for the doctor's fee. Alright, and that's basically how the hospital works. So I'm going to show that to you. I'll probably be editing that out most of the time. Anyway, I'll meet you back there. Okay, and we are back at the scene of the crime. So this boss... This boss actually gave me a lot of trouble the first time I fought him. And it's because there's a secret to it. A certain spell that you can use that makes this boss infinitely easier. So for now, I'll just fight him the way I normally would, as if I didn't know. You can try freeze beta on him. You saw how much it did to that bear. It did like 190 damage. And so that guy, it only does 18. So he's got some serious magic defense. Which makes me wonder why he's using a psychic shield, because, well, <laughs> apparently it's not going to do much damage anyway. Tore into you. Remember what I said about tore into you? It means it's going to do a lot of damage, and boy did it. What was that, 64, I think that said? Even this normal attack, 35, and that's a lot of HP. So what you got to do is go into your PSI under assist. There's a spell called paralysis. Use that. And that will make this a much easier. <clears throat> now he's numb, and he can't move. And anytime he tries to attack, it's just gonna say that. His body is numb, and he can't move. He'll still be able to use magic, but otherwise, it completely stops his attack right then and there, and he won't be able to touch you for the rest of the battle, so... Basically, we just knock him down now. Mm-hmm. If only I had known this the first time. When I discovered this trick, I was just like, oh shit. They're telling me that all the time. I could have done it. could have been that easy. This to me was like practically legendary how hard this boss was. I couldn't believe it. But there you go. It's a lot of experience, let me tell you. So he's a goner, and that takes us to Lilliput Steps. Don't they make a reference to Lilliputians in some movie? That movie about the giant guy? I can't remember what it's called. It's The Walking Man or something. I, I don't know why I can't remember what that's called. So we got the second piece of the melody. And I briefly had a vision of a baby in a red cap. Gee, I wonder who that could be. By now, you're probably starting to figure it out that he's starting to have visions of his past. His very distant past. Notice now the bears are running away. See ya! Wouldn't want to be ya. So this is a great place to grind as you're coming out. If we hadn't built all that experience already, it would be a good time to. I might do some anyway. I don't know. But anyway, so that's all for this episode of Let's Play Earthbound. I will see you next time. Bye now!